the bottom line of everything that's happening in our country and the world, in my opinion, is really a spiritual war. It's a war being fought for the hearts and souls of the human spirit. Uh, and in that sense, that's where we're being challenged. Uh, and if we look at it that way, we can gain the courage it takes to hang in there, to persevere, to fight, and to do things that conduct ourselves in a way that nurtures everyone in a loving way. And that uh, as an as a outcome of what our actions are, that it be, we pray that it be for the highest good of all concerned, to keep that in mind always. But it is an issue, uh, not our property, it's our spirit that's being attacked. Uh, in my, I do my prayers and affirmations in the morning as a rule. And uh, one of the things I pray for is divine guidance, that there is a plan to things. I have a great faith uh, in the design of things in the world. I don't always understand how it's playing out, but I have faith in the ultimate goodness of how things work out. And uh, it may take divine intervention. Certainly, I keep myself open to that. But that the, uh, not in the religious sense, but in the attitudinal sense, to ask that creative force, that force that beats our heart, that breathes us when we're asleep, that we have, our ego has nothing to do with, that keeps us living, to rely on that force to come through us and guide us. Uh, because uh, I cannot take credit for who I am. I, am uh, I have a creator in, in my own way of thinking. And uh, to submit to that creator and do the will of that creator, and I, it, it's a faith that I have uh, that there is uh, an ultimate goodness to it. And uh, to align myself with that force, whatever label any religion wants to put on it, down at the bottom, uh, the, the, the grassroots of it all is a creative force, which is true in the true sense of the word is awesome. And uh, to be in touch with that awesomeness of the creation and wanting to do whatever plan is there, there are those who might disagree and they're entitled to that. But I have great faith in that force and to let that come through all of us. And that's in my prayers. Uh, I ask for that, and I think we all need to. And in that sense, uh, divine intervention can happen. Our founding fathers, in signing the Declaration of Independence, pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. Are we up to that as well for ourselves? Are we willing to pledge that? Uh, we have had a wonderful example shown us. And uh, to those that are, who these words touch, it doesn't take a, a majority, it takes a small group of people who are committed to affect the change. And are you one of those people who will pledge that? Your life, your fortune, and your sacred honor. These are things that money cannot buy. And these are the things, the stuff of life, that gives us joy, that gives us a sense of purpose, that gives us fulfillment in our reason for being here. Not for grabbing all the gusto we can grab for, but to give of ourselves and know that that's where joy lives, that's where love is, that's where happiness is, that's where our whole meaning of our existence lies. So I wish us all well in being able to access that. It is my understanding that the Founding Fathers really turned their lives over to the divine will to see the establishment of this country. It was a spiritual quest, uh, and they realized that it was something that their human condition couldn't solve, that they had to ask for help from the divine, and we do too. Uh, now is a time that we very much need to ask for that. And however we worship, 
uh, whatever form it is, to know that there is a creative power and force that can act through us, and we need to pray for that. At least that's where I'm coming from at this point, and hopefully you are too. I would say in regard to foreclosure, fight and do not give in. Do not leave your house unless you're dragged out of it. Uh, do everything you can do to become knowledgeable. There are websites that you can get on. Uh, you need to get armed with information. You need to have your friends. You need to have the support of your local sheriff not to evict you. And he is the most important person politically in our lives has more power delegated to him than any state official or any federal official. So the local sheriff is, is king in our lives. It's good that we educate him, befriend him or her, and uh, know that there is strength in numbers. And as we see what's in, uh, unfolding in Egypt, it can give us hope here too. I have a lot of respect for the people that were just uh, not engaging in violent behavior, and they affected a change. We can do that as well. We need to take our country back. It has been hijacked from us, and that's because of our uh, distractions, uh, because of our laziness, our ignorance, or just because we get too busy coping with day-to-day -day existence. We have got to put that extra effort forward now.